What it is, y'all? It's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back with more Damachi. Now, if you guys haven't had enough uh, banners, we've got another one coming up. But this one honestly was predictable. Uh, we are, of course, going into the uh, the New Year's celebration. Valhalla Panic! And I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is actually a good opportunity for new players. Um, we'll see how I feel about... Wow, you can't even read that. Uh, the period is starting, it says Thursday, 1229. Remember, that's going to be Wednesday for us through the 26th. So you got like a month for this. You got plenty of time. You can MLB the four star New Year's message Alfric, which is great because a lot of people may not have that unit. Uh, by clearing all the event quests on very hard, this is a free to play unit, which means he's not going to be groundbreaking, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, New Year's message Alfric. Now, this is an assist. Uh, HP is 13, thir uh, thir 1338, just pretty good. Both physical and magic are 379, whatever. Uh, physical attacks, 379, 409 for endurance. Endurance is really the only yes stat there. Yeah. Um, what does he do? Foes, plural, light resist down 15%, and allies, strength and magic plus 15%. So... Here's the deal. Uh, I'm not going to read. There's no point in talking about stats that are below that because you're going to free to play MLB this dude. Uh, these are good stats. If you don't have a maximum broken uh, light resist unit. So I can't really poo poo on this unit. It's uh, going to be a pretty good unit and you're going to want to maximum break him. Obviously, which you're going to do anyway. Let's talk about the banner though. Okay. Party Goddess Aphrodite. This is only the third Aphrodite in the game. Once an assist, once an adventurer. If you do not have an Aphrodite unit, this might not be a bad unit to chase. But, only because it'll be fresh CP, or she, will be fresh CP. Um, Carter is kind of adorable, actually, too. Uh, and the fact that, obviously, with fresh CP, if you don't have an Aphrodite unit... I believe it. I have to double check. I think the other two... No, I think actually the one of them is not time limited. But anyway, if you don't have her and you get her, you're going to have the ability to then unlock her her CP levels, which is going to garner garner you some, uh, some iris. I did a video in the past where we tested it out. And you can get up to, and I mean up to, 450 iris plus some other rewards too, just for getting one of these units. So, it really works out in your favor. But here's the deal. A lot of that is over time, so don't get too excited and don't go crazy. She is not time limited. So, she'll be in the general pool. She'll be in four star tickets. Heck, two or three star tickets for what it matters. So, not the end of the world. But, let's look stats here. 4406 HP, so a very modern unit. MP is 447, which is really good. Uh, endurance is 730. Again, very modern unit. Uh, 1013 for dex. 849 for agility. I haven't read her skills yet. That means she's probably going to be built for record buster. Which is weird. And 2045 magic, which is really good. She's a water unit, of course. Let's look over here. Now, I've not read her stats yet. This is going to be a cold read. Skill 1 is a 98 MP cost, allies, slow, room magic, agility, magic resist debuffs. So magic, agility, magic resist debuffs get removed. Self, physical and magic resist plus 60%, which is a good tank, for 6 turns, 4 additional actions, foes, plural. So she is a working unit. Mid-water magic attack with ultra and guard rate. 35% charm. Now... Whenever we see Aphrodite, we know she's going to be a charm unit. Kind of like... Uh, I mean, kind of like with Freya and any unit like that. Removes magic, agility, and magic resistance buffs. Thing to remember about charm is it does not work on Bell. So, if you're bringing the shooter into war game and you're looking to defeat the new Bell, the, the Hero Festa Bell, you ain't going to do it because she's going to be un completely ineffective on that unit. Or at least that, that aspect of her will be. I'm a bit weirdified by her build. Because with that low of agility, she's never going first. 
But she's an ailment unit. So I guess speed isn't really a factor there. Skill 2 is a 64 MP cost. Foes plural super water magic attack with ultra encounter rate. Temporary magic boost and self magic. Dex and water attack damage. Ooh, dex scale up. 70% for 4 turns with a 35% charm. Worth noting, when you get that skill off is when the second attack hurt, uh, happens and the charm happens again. So, it's easy to say it's, it becomes a 70% charm. It's, it's really like a 50% charm if you really factor in everything there. Uh, statistics are weird like that. But, it's a good amount of charm. Like, you have a good chance of charming the opponent. Very good chance. Skill 3 is a 47 MP cost. Foe singular, super water magic attack with ultra and guard rate. Temporary great magic boost and charm. So the only real good thing about that is it's a guaranteed charm. So if she gets taunted, then that taunted unit is going to be charmed. So it is what it is. Um, SA, and we'll talk more about what charm does tomorrow. SA is a foe's plural ultra water magic attack with ultra and guard rate. Temporary great magic boost to remove status buffs, which is nice. And apply charm and charm resistance and water resistance down 60%. Just as apply charm. To all foes. Once again, though, a lot of people run the new bell, and it's not going to be effective on Hero Festa bell. 45% fire resistance counters are water physical attack, 50% charm. Counters with a 50% charm. She is all about the charm. Damn, girl. 35% magic endurance and dex, 20% damage on critical and penetration, and an aqua killer, which is funny because she's an aqua unit. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not in love with this unit. I have not been charmed by Aphrodite. But whatever. Her art's cute, at least. Uh, Camilla Girl Seer. Let's see. What does she do? She's an assist, of course. 1276 HP. Uh, physical is 445. Uh, magic is 345. That really doesn't enamor me in any way. 523 for Endurance is really nice Endurance stat. She's I. Right. What does she do here? Strength and Magic. Ooh, okay, no. I do like Seer. Strength and Magic down 25%. I believe that's the highest we've had in the game for both stats. Self, three additional uh, actions. When attacked with a Magic Attack. With a Magic Attack. Allies 40% HP heal. Remove Magic Resistance buffs. This effect can happen once per turn. So you get that for three turns. I like this. I think this is great. I think she's an awesome build. She's all about uh, endurance, which means she, you want to put her on somebody that doesn't really need a physical stat, only needs a little bit of like tankiness. And that's kind of where, where the, the where the meta is kind of currently going is a lot of endurance. I like her. I think Seer's a must have, frankly. Uh, for war game, for really anything. Seer's a gotta have. Which sucks, because I know a lot of us are just completely out of Iris at this point. But, the banner's gonna be around for a month, you're gonna have time, and I don't think she's gonna be a must-have immediately. I think for a lot of us, if we wait until the banner's, like, getting ready to expire, and then we go in, it'll be just fine. I don't think we're missing anything, at least thus far. Um... Alan, there's a limited number of Alan units in the game. You probably already have one, but if you don't, if you're brand new at the game, Alan will be fresh CP. The only reason Seer won't be is because Seer's all over the place. And there's a two-star Seer unit and a three-star Seer unit. You have Seer. Alan, not so much. Alan is a underused unit. Let's see what he does. HP, oh, is he's an assist too? 1096 for HP. Uh, 407 for both physical and, uh, and magic. 219 for endurance. 347, or sorry, 374 for dex. It's right there in front of me. I still can't read it. And 656 for agility. So he makes units faster. Uh, allies, agility plus 20%. So he's all about the speed. Foes, AOE and single target damage taken plus 15%. Eh, okay. Not bad. Could be better, could be worse. I I like the fact that we have a speedy assist. A lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, that you know that agility buff is good. But we have other units that do that agility buff. 
Uh, the AoE and single target damage taken as a good buff on top of that. Um, but there's not a huge amount of times where you're going to use that. Like, obviously in Wargame, the AoE buff is really the go-to. The only reason to do single target is for counters. And, well, counters and being taunted. Um, there's an argument for it, but personally, I think for the vast majority, and once, once again, I'll say this. When I'm talking to the people here about whether or not this is a good unit, Wales, you already know, he's a great unit. But for people that are just now reeling from the Hero Fest banners... I don't know. I really don't know. The only time I'd really see it say you kind of got to go after him is a, just to get one uh, for the CP levels if you don't have him. That's a big if. Because he's got three, maybe four units in the game now. Uh, th I think this would be the fourth or fifth unit in the game. So, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Alan's just kind of, I'm, I'm asleep. Once again... He and Aphrodite, it's kind of like, I, I, I see it. I see the argument for it, but I'm not. For the most part, I think this banner is a pretty pretty easy skip. Or at least get one and then walk away. Uh, Heaton. Only the second Heaton unit in the game. So this is fresh CP for a lot of people. Uh, and I think the other one is time limited. Uh, unless I'm mistaken. I could be wrong. I'd have to pull up the other game, the game over here. And my phone's currently charging because it was on 6%. So I'm not going to go look it up right now. I'll cover that in tomorrow's video, but either way, only one of two units in the game. Uh, HP is 4598, uh, MP is 399, Magic Attack is 253, Endurance is 625, which is great for a Magic unit, 1009 for Dex, 858, really slow units. Is he going to be our Record Buster build? Let's see. Gotta scroll down here to his skills. Skill 1 is a 66 MP cost, allies, agility, dex, critical rate, penetration rate, plus 40% for 5 turns, 4 additional actions, foes, plural, midwater magic attack with alternate penetration rate, shorten AoE and single target damage, uh, I'm assuming buffs, reduction buffs, by 2 turns, and allies extend status buffs by 2 turns. Good unit, but once again, uh, there are other units that do this. Skill 2 is a 64 MP cost, foes, plural, slow. So, uh, people are going to argue with me, yeah, there's other units that do it, but there's like two or three that do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once again, guys. D you could use two units to do the same thing he does. Absolutely. But a lot of us are still reeling. Like, I, I don't know about it, you guys. It took everything to go into the Hero Festa banner. Everything. And... We got Valentine's around the corner. As soon as this banner goes away, we got our Valentine's banner. And that's usually time limited. So for me, I'm really planning for that. Like, these units are generally pretty good. And I don't see in this banner what I usually see out of New Year's units. So if I'm ever going to tell anybody to sleep on a banner thus far, this is the one I'm telling people to just snooze. But let's keep going here. Uh, 64 MP cost, slow, high water magic attack, foes plural uh with ultra on counter rate temporary magic boost and aoe uh damage taken 40 percent. it's nice it's actually a really good buff uh magic resistance down 30 percent for four turns it's self magic 80 percent and water attack damage plus 60 percent for four turns a yeah, good unit yeah good not great not mind-blowing good uh and i know people are going to want me to compare them to the hero fest banner i'm not going to do that Hero Festa banner just blows everybody away. There's just no point in that. Where will the next Hero Festa banner be? Don't know. No clue. We'll probably have one in spring. We'll have one or two over the summer. Probably have one in fall. You know, you can pretty much guess there's going to be at least one seasonally. Uh, skill 3 is a 45 MP cost. Foes, I'm sorry, foes singular. Uh, high water magic attack with ultra penetration rate. Skill damage 80%. I like that. Per self magic buff, that means he's going to be at least usable in in, uh, in Record Buster. Uh, SA is a foe's plural ultra water magic attack with ultra penetration rate, skill damage 100%. I like that. Per self magic buff skill and allies, 100% water attack damage for four turns. Ooh. 
Good, I love that skill. Bad, we have that skill several times over. I think this is the third unit that does all allies water. Could be wrong on that. But, yeah, water's kind of been. You know, like, the anniversary water team from last year was killer. Absolutely phenomenal. And I love that it's an AoE with the skill damage 100%. Really makes him relevant. I love that. I actually do want Heaton. I really do. But he's going to be around. So I, I still might snooze. We'll see. Hegney! Hegney actually looks pretty badass. I kind of want Hegney just for the art. Um, there are very few units I don't have in this game. I'm, I'm going to be level with you guys. Generally speaking, I at least go for one, one of each unit in the game. And, you know, so because of that, like, the only units I'm missing are units I completely told you guys to snooze on. Or uh, units that a really, really, really early game that I before I was wailing as hard as I am now. Anyway, I digress. Hegney! Uh, 4568 uh, HP, great. Uh, 2177 physical, great. 633 endurance, eh, compared to other units we've had lately. Mm, that's like a magic stat. 931 dex again, question mark. Uh, 1216, that's good. That's actually really good. Skill 1 is an 81 MP cost, foes plural, super dark physical attack with ultra uncounter rate, strength, magic, and agility down 40% for 4 turns, self strength plus 70% for 4 turns, 3 additional actions, this is where it gets really good, foes plural, mid dark physical attack with high penetration rate, skill damage 40% for self dark attack damage buff skill, remember that was 80%, and Heal rate debuff. Doesn't say what percentage, but heal rate debuff is always a good thing. Great War Games unit. Going to be a great addition to uh, to Asterius. Hegney's the first must have on this banner. Honestly. Hegney's phenomenal and a good complement to the units we just got. Skill 2 is a 60 MP cost. Allies. Fast. Dark. Attack damage and seal rate plus 60%. Ooh. Heal rate down 40% for four turns and foes. Wait, for all allies? Heal rate down 40%? Foes, dark resist and endurance and heal rate down 40%. AoE damage taken plus 35% for 4 turns, and... Ooh, remove HP regen buffs. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, I like Hegney. Hegney, I'm, I'm awake now. I'm paying attention. Hegney is, is, is woken me up. Skill 3 is a 38 MP cost. Foe singular, super dark physical attack with ultra critical rate. Skill damage 70% per foe singular heal rate debuff. I don't know why he debuffs himself, but maybe he's just too good and they had to do something to nerf him. Um, actually, I, actually, I take that back. I think it's pretty canonical for his character, but nevertheless. SA is a foe's plural ultra dark physical attack with ultra and guard rate, temporary great strength boost, physical resist, and dark resist down 60%. That's a very good skill right there. Hegney's must have, y'all. Hegney is the first absolute 100% must-have on this banner. If you have a Asterius, you've got to have Hegney. Um, so maybe this is a good time to start, you know, flexing Prism Bonds and stuff like that. I'd be my, my two cents of the matter. Let's talk about Asfi. Once again, really cute art here. 4482 for, uh, for HP. <laughs> Pardon me. 4482 for HP, 428 for MP. Uh, tw jeez. 26 now is probably gonna be cold. Ice cold. Oh, good grief. It is like 50 degrees in my studio right now. It is absolutely frigid. I probably should have long sleeves on them. So I'm like over here like this. Uh, but we're gonna muscle through the rest of this year. Uh, 2069 for magic, 1107 and, uh, for an agility, 
1035 for Dex, 563 for Endurance. Feels like last year's stats. I mean, for last year, it would have been phenomenal. But for current, it's kind of like, you know, once again, I'm snoring. Uh, what does she do? Uh, self. Magic and light attack damage plus 100%. Ooh. That's for three turns and four additional actions. Foe singular. Highlight ma magic attack and remove strength and magic buffs. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, it's on her SA. Hold up. That's on her SA. Hold up. Let's, let's reread her SA here. Let's do a skill one, then we'll come back to the SA. Skill one is a 65 MP cost. Foe singular. Highlight magic attack with ultra and guard rate. Temporary magic boost. Magic resistance critical rate plus... I'm sorry, down 40% for four turns. Three additional actions. Foe singular. Mid-light magic attack. Remove strength and magic buffs. Very good skill. Skill 2 is a 50 MP cost. Self. Fast. Uh, magic and light attack damage and counter rate plus 70%. For 4 turns, allies. Magic and light attack damage and counter rate plus 50%. That's a great skill. Uh, skill 3 is a 43 MP cost. Foe singular super light magic attack with uh, high penetration uh, rate. Skill damage 60%. Per self counter rate buff skill and remove magic resistance debuffs. Okay, very good. Very good. I like that. Now SA. Foe's singular ultra light magic attack with ultra penetration rate. Skill damage 70% per self magic buff and self magic and light attack damage plus one. Okay, 100%. This is where we tied before. Four additional actions. Foe's singular highlight magic attack and remove strength and magic buff skill. Good, good unit. I'm not, I have nothing bad to say about Asfi. Um, am I in love with these banners, though? Let's ponder this. I think Hegney is a must-have. I think Osfi is, like, a good, solid unit. Hegney being on Aphrodite and Alan's banner is nice. Um, Heden being over here with Osfi and Seer really does kind of start to discount him a little bit. I, I, I'm comfortably going to do at least one or two multis on this banner trying to get Hegney. And then I might just do Prism Bonds the rest of the way, to be honest with you guys. And then save for, for Valentine's. New Year's campaign info. Special campaign full of our thanks for this year is available. Okay. Ooh, Hero Light times 5. Hero Fauna times 10. Ascension Fauna times 8. And one 4-star guaranteed 11-draw ticket. Sorry, that's not, even, that's not an 11-draw. I, I literally just made that up. My apologies. It's just a 4-star guaranteed ticket. Scratch that. Edit that out. I'm not going to remember to edit that out, but whatever. Uh, here's our login bonuses. Oh, look at that. No joke. Look at those hero lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hero lights. Damn. Is that what they promised us back here? Let's hero light times five. We're getting 12 hero lights for just logging in. And two four star. I like that. Hell yes. Other gotchas, wake up. Happy New Year. We here at Dan Mima. Hope you have a great 2023. And now I do as well. I mean, I did it as well anyway. Please accept this thousand iris. I mean, twist my arm, why don't you? Uh, fortune slip quest. Remember, this is good for CP items, so test your luck once a day. Get fortune slips. Uh, especially if you're getting new units out of here, new CP out of here, that'll be a great thing for you. Uh, Grand Fortune 2023 will give you 2023 CP. Good Fortune will give you 1,200, and Minor Fortune will give you 600. I think that's the highest we've had in these before. I think I still have some fortune slips from last year, too. It's a funny part. Four-star time-limited units. New Year's greetings, gotcha. This is paid iris only. But if you're lacking some time-limited units, good time to log in and get some. So period starting from uh, Sunday the 1st until Saturday the 7th. So we've got a week to do this. And remember, that's going to be like, for the that's, that's going to drop New Year's Eve. 
Uh, you can select draw up to three regular four stars or time limited four star units of your choice. So it's a Celestial Festival banner that also has uh, time limited units on there. That's phenomenal. Man, that's really good. Ooh, I might, I'm, I'm going to have to hit this banner at least once. Uh, so one four star unit is guaranteed on the first, third, fifth, and seventh. So every odd draw. Hmm. Promise I don't know if I'm missing enough of these units. I may not be missing enough of them. We may just have to, to off see what's on there. Uh, so 2023 Arario Divine Loot Bag. Uh, to celebrate New Year's, special buy item bundles are available. These are usually really good, but also extremely expensive. So we'll cover all those after they drop. Let's say tell us the price here. So. The Deluxe Loot Bag is a Prison Bond, Adventure, and Assist, and a 3-star... Ooh, and just those two and a 3-star guaranteed ticket? That actually might be affordable. Uh, 2023 Alar Alario Mini Loot Bag is a 4-star guaranteed ticket times 1. Should be about 300 paid. Man, with luck, the, the Deluxe Loot Bag might be as low as 600. That'd be great. That'd be a phenomenal place. I'm going to guess this could be 800, but it might be as low as 600. That'd be, that'd be a, a steal. A steal. Um, the, uh, the big one though, the, the divine loot bag is, uh, two celestial festival tickets. Ooh. Okay. Starbond times one, st uh, uh, assist starbond times two. Sorry. I'm going to try this again. Adventure starbond times one, assist starbond times one. Uh, I'm really bad at this today. 11 drop ticket times 2, 6 types of fallen times 50, and ex uh, exilia books large times 50, which I'm I'm so out of books. I need those books so badly. Uh, all main stories will be one-third stamina. This happens several times a year, and it's a good time to take advantage of that. Uh, Damachi anime info. So anime Damachi season 4 calamity arc campaign. New season coming, y'all. We will be covering the episodes of... Uh, doing episode reviews on the channel this is gonna be tons and tons and tons of fun i have some giveaways for y'all and it's gonna be a blast so is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon side story anime link with a special release released every week so basically after we get our episode we'll get a special story in the in the uh the game i loved those special stories they were great anime celebration presents so watch the anime and play the anime we'll get luxurious items as presents every week after that very, very, very nice stuff. Treasure hunt available. Ooh. Starting on the 5th. That's not this coming week, but next week. You could play treasure hunt once per day up to 14 times. So basically it's running for two weeks. Uh, so depending on the unit you select, it's available. So remember, this is that thing that like would pop up on your screen. And you'd select one of the three units on screen. You either get it 40, 60, or with the grand prize, you'll get 100. Uh, there's no guarantee that the grand prize is going to pop up every day. Sometimes it simply doesn't pop up. But, you know, it is what it is. It's 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 free iris. Just enjoy. There's there's no reason to second guess what's happening there. Free 11 draw gotcha every week. I mean, what can I say? I love this game. <laughs> Uh, Rabbit Star Legacy Bell. So this is Bell and Ryu. This is that Bell and Ryu unit that uh, everyone voted on, what, like 18 months ago or some craziness. Uh, we're finally getting it to celebrate the anime. Uh, HP is 44.88. Uh, physical stat is 21.81. Uh, endurance is 7.18. Dex is 801, interestingly. And 261.81. For figure text would be higher with them. Uh, and uh, agility is 1261. So great agility stat there. Uh, what do they do? Because I don't know. Uh, so skill one is a 71 MP cost. Foes plural. Super uh, so super win physical attack with ultra and counter rate. Temporary strength boost and ruse agility buffs and three additional actions. Foes plural. Mid win physical attack. Uh, and wind resist down 40% for two turns. Self wind attack damage plus 100%. Ooh. 
Skill 2 is a 44 MP cost, self, fast, fast, strength, agility, and dex 60% for 4 turns. Foes plural, physical resist down 40%, AoE and single target damage taken, plus 30% for 4 turns. Uh, skill 3 is a 40 MP cost, foes singular, high wind physical attack, skill damage 100% per foes singular, wind resistance debuff. That should be a 200% hit, that's a great hit. SA is a foe singular. Yeah, okay, so it's weird. Anyway, I'm not going to second guess it. Ultra wind physical attack with temporary great strength boost. Self strength plus four. Uh, sorry, strength plus 100% for four turns. For additional actions, foe singular. Mid wind physical attack, wind resist down 60% for two turns. Allies, wind attack damage plus 100% for two turns. Ooh. Mm, and 40% HP heal. That's a good good unit. Mm. Wind team just got a huge buff. Uh they've had uh, the 100% 100% wind attack damage, but it just it seems like a really solid unit. Uh so Yeah, I if, if I if you want my opinion this banner should take priority even over the other banners, personally. Uh, so you'll get a free 11 draw on this when it drops. And then you can hit the banner. It says for a 4th, some of the draws are going to be 4-star uh, guaranteed, just like before. Log in and get... <clears throat> Log in to get this unit for free. And we get a free 11 draw. And the first draw is still guaranteed 4-star. That's, that's a win. That's a win and then some. All right, so the schedule starting tomorrow. So, all those buffs we talked about earlier, I say buffs, but all those major rewards we talked about earlier, they're all dropping tomorrow. Uh, actually, they're dropping to today. A lot of those things should start today. Uh, probably dropped after the uh, the live stream. So we're getting the new banner tomorrow. Remember, I I, I personally believe the other banner's better. Bonus Iris campaign is coming back. Uh, the Valhalla bundles, if you really want to go there. I'm not, not in love with this banner, personally. We're getting a new Heroic Trial, we'll talk about that. Fortune Slip Quest, we'll talk about that. Record Buster, we're getting another Record Buster. We just had Record Buster, we're getting another one. This time, Gareth is back. Uh, I promise I'll talk, it looks like he's going to be a dark unit, too. I'm going to have to talk about him this time, because I failed to talk about him last time, and he is a little bit different than a lot of the other Record Busters. So, next, uh, so, sorry, starting from the 30th, that is the 29th for all of us. It's two days from now, Thursday. New login bonus, times two. So, here's the one login, here's the, the other login. And then, New Year's, we're getting the new Memoria. And it is already, oh. So, turns one through turns five... 10% HP? Let me see if I got the full translation on this. Uh, should have the full translation. Uh, uh, okay. All party 10% HP regen turns 1, 2, 5. Nice. I don't know if that's huge early game or not. I gotta ponder that. I don't really think about that. The uh, New Year's Greetings gotcha. Remember, that's the paid gotcha. The uh, loot bags we talked about. Undertale Skewer is back. I think the Undertale Skewer Refresh is coming soon. Thought it was coming January. I guess it's going to come February. Then, next week, we have the uh, Bell and Ryu banner. We've got the, uh, the Anime Celebration Presence. We've got the Knights of Fianna rerun. Times two. War Game will be back next week. And then next Thursday, the treasure hunt begins. So, whew, that's a lot. This has been a long one, guys. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Like, comment, share, all the good stuff. I am going to go chug some uh, Dayquil because I'm starting. Maybe it's just a cold room. Maybe I just need long sleeves. I don't know. But, catch you all in the next one.